This is Dave Filoni sitting down ask, answering questions about Ahsoka and Star Wars and all these things. And a couple words that he said really stuck in people's minds. So let's let's listen to uh, the Lisp Master himself, Dave Filoni. Did an animation, so I would do it distinctly different in live action. I, there's just the story that it is. And I was telling it in one medium, like Rebels is a different style than Clone Wars even, uh, visually. That changed the way I could execute certain things in Rebels. Uh, so the story has kind of evolved since I worked on Rebels, uh, working with John and kind of setting things down in The Mandalorian created an opportunity to see how does Ahsoka work as a character in live action. Because, you know... Now, you like Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka, yes. right? Mm -hmm. I do. I, I like I like most of Filoni's work. Uh, this is the kind of the classic case of we don't need to... Like, I don't care about Christopher Nolan fucking interviews, okay? I just want to see Christopher Nolan direct movies i don't want to see him tweet and do interviews i don't give a fuck about what feloni has to say the more these people talk the worse they look now here we are in 2023 where social media where everybody that's anybody in any industry seems to think that their opinions matter when they just don't your opinions don't matter ultimately outside of the direct specific world that you're in your opinions do not matter nobody cares about what you have to say about anything generally speaking and uh, it goes back to a, a quote that uh, Kathleen Kennedy gave me when I was really going over the casting of Ahsoka. And I said, how do you know when it's the right person? And she just looked at me and said, Dave, you just know. And she's been a part of so many films that I, I love growing up. It's like, again, I'm in a very privileged position to have a mentor like her advising me and just giving you the knowledge that you need to make the choices creatively that, that, that you end up doing. And, uh, she was right. I just knew when it was Roe, and that kind of brought Ahsoka together uh, for me uh, when I got to make the episode. And she's, she's not so privileged to have a mentor. Right. She's like, not fucking right. I just pulled this up. Eighteen fired and replaced directors in the Disney Star Wars era. This is Kathleen Kennedy. This bitch doesn't know anything about personnel. She knows nothing about hiring the right person. She knows absolutely nothing. And yet you're going to sit there and push that bullshit lie. This is why, this is why people like us will never get interviews. Because I would have sit there and go, you just said she mentored you to hire the right person? This bitch has fucking hired and fired more people than any executive in Hollywood we've seen. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? But the access media wants their access. Jesus Christ. And it's, you know, when you look at Kathleen Kennedy, she's been in Hollywood a long ass time. I don't doubt that there are things that, you know, she probably would be good for in terms of getting things done, knowing the right people, blah, 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 right? She's been around a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's called, it's it's called, it's or called sucking dick. That's exactly. what it is. But the idea that, you know, the, the casting of Ahsoka, and to even tell that story is so stupid, because it'd be one thing if she revealed to him something really profound. The whole story is, God, she gave me some great advice. She just said, when you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, well, it's like the dumbest thing in the world. That just shows you that and for all the people that say, like, Kathleen Kennedy is just hated because she's a woman. Like, I didn't know anything about the bitch. All right? I didn't know anything about her. All I knew was that George Lucas handed this dumb woman Star Wars. And she was connected to Steven Spielberg. That's what I knew of her. So it's like, hey, okay, she's obviously, you know, must be the right person for the job. George Lucas anointed her as the person that he handed Star Wars to. She lost any goodwill she had with anybody by her own actions. Nothing to do with her being a woman. It has to do with everything that she's just not good. And she's been elevated in an industry um, that she's never done anything in other than hung her name on the uh, accomplishments of great men. That's essentially what she's done.